This is Dabu 7. It looks like we're seeing a growing trend across the United States as we have different places getting targeted and then hit by IRS and ATF agents. And here now in Montana, this is the latest where this gun store gets hit with this Soviet style intimidation raid where around 20 agents, ATF and IRS, show up at the gun shop. And they say that they want to go over all of his records, and the IRS accuses this man of millions of dollars of unreported income, which the guy says is not true. This Tom Van Hoos, he is the owner of Highwood Creek Outfitters, the place that got raided. They go in, and they don't take financial records. No, that's not what they go in and that they take at all. Instead, they go in, and they take all the 4473s. Now, the 4473 forms are the forms in which everyone fills out when they purchase a firearm. It contains zero financial data on the sheet. Many believe they are taking this information to build a database on gun owners to be able to target all of them. And that is exactly what it seems like from here. And it just goes to show that if you're in this government's crosshairs, they can come in, put false accusations up, and do whatever just to kick in your door to get what they really want, which was these 4473s, which is everyone's information out there, everyone that bought a gun. That's what they want so they can build that database to target you. This is pretty crazy. If you guys see anything like this, let me know. Dabu7 at yahoo.com. I'm going to expand on this further on the next live stream. Make sure to join me. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Let's give it all praise to the Most High. In the name of his only begotten son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, my name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful lake scattered abroad. And as you just saw in this video, they're coming down with great wrath, man. Okay, they're coming down with great wrath. And ultimately, they're about to show you you know what they're all about all right this is from the the youtube handle davo 77 all right go watch and subscribe the dude always bringing out you know good points or um good um you know clips you know and information it says heavenly armed atf and irs agents hit montana gun store with soviet style intimidation raid okay and um the, the, the a ATF is the alcohol, tobacco, firearms, and explosives, and the IRS is the intern the Internal Revenue Service. Um, it raided a gun store. Okay. Now a couple weeks ago, I mean a couple months prior, we did a video. We did videos concerning these ARA, these IRS agents. You know, pretty much getting armed. You know, uh, they're, they're hiring citizens, and telling telling them to be be prepared. Be fuck yeah be prepared to kill okay so they're arming you know a on these irs agents and they're going door to door and they're checking your your finances man you know they call themselves checking your finances if you have any money that has not been accounted for through taxes then they're coming to you know figure out where you're getting this money from and ultimately to seize you know stuff that stuff that's yours you see which shows you that they want total control and that they're about to come down with you know great wrath man you know, great wrath. But well, they went to this gun store and they went, you know, saying they was looking for, you know, some money, you know, some, 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 some un unaccounted for money. But he said how they, they only took the damn records for people that bought the guns. They ain't going to no financial records, which, which, which showed you that, that they lied. You see, let's see the comments say, you know, this shows you that they lied. Okay. They said it's coming in for one thing. And got some melts. It says, "Who thought arming 
a IRS agents with pitiful training was a good idea. Maybe it's time to use the Second Amendment for what it was intended. My question is, where was the the county sheriff? They had absolute authority to shut that down. Our forefathers created a Second Amendment for this type of ty tyrannical government. Yep. So, what this means, okay, and and less words, is a civil war is coming, man. Okay, the people are turning against the government, and the government is doing some you know shady shit. You know, and he said he said himself, if you if you're in their crosshairs. Sure, they can kick down your door and say they, they're here for whatever they want to say they're here for and come for something completely different. But the point is, they came for those records, man. They came for those records. So anybody who has a gun, now you're on their damn, now you're definitely in their crosshairs. Now you got some of these Americans that have, you know, over 10 guns in their house. Well, they're going to consider you a domestic terrorist, man, a threat. Okay? And really, when you go into these gun stores and you buy these guns, hey, you are, you, you are, you, you are being, you know, Cause on those paperwork you gotta put put your address and your you know your ID and all your information on there, you know. So you've been tracked, you know. And they finna come and start doing these gun grabs, man. You know, and they and they want you to buck up. They want you to start shooting at them. You know that they they they, they 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 want you to you know because they 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 gonna put laws in place, and they, and they want you to act crazy, and then they gonna send in them you know terminators, man. Okay. Revelation chapter 12 verse 12 Therefore rejoice ye heavens ye that dwell in them Which is us You know we Our minds are in the heavens Our spirit is in the Is in the heavens man With your whole body your shot We know what's coming We see we see this thing Coming And we telling you it's coming So this is something That we, that, that we rejoice in Seeing this place crashing Okay Seeing all these prophecies Coming to pass Because we know that our salvation Is nearer than we believe It says Woe Which means destruction and misery to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, you people that's of this earth, man. You know, you you you, you regular old peons that's walking around here thinking that you're free, and God bless them, and God gonna bless America. He gonna bless America with missiles, man. Okay, but before the missiles come here, it's gonna be total hell. The Lord said He come to send fire, and what will it if He already be kindled? It's already gonna be all hell breaking loose down here, man. Okay, civil wars and you know food riots and whatnot, famines and pestilences and diseases. It says for evil, it's like for the devil, okay, the evil devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. And this is the devil, man. You see, you, 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 yeah, you see him, Edomites and they damn, you know, they damn alphabet, you know, jackets, okay, with these damn ATF and IRS and all this crazy shit, man. You know, you gonna you you gonna have all these, you know, uh, um. You know, these acronyms, you know, kicking in your dough pretty soon, bro. It says, for the devil has come down into you having great wrath because he knows that he have but a short time. So they know their time is short. All right. So they're going to come down with great wrath. And this is why we tell you to be spiritual, man. You grab that. Okay. That's why we, why, 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 well, first and foremost, why, why the scriptures tell, told us to be, to be spiritual. You know, you got camps out here with guns. You know, you're probably taking your, your whole camp to the gun range. Uh, you know, trying to be, um, you know, damn black Rambo's and stuff, you know, in the truth. The Lord ain't tell you to do that, man. Okay? He ain't tell you to do that. And if you're doing that, ultimately these devils are going to use that against you. This is Romans chapter 8, verse. The whole point is for us to be found blameless, man. A good movie to watch is the movie Judas and the Black Mama Messiah, uh, you know, where it shows you how, um, you know, they, they, how, they, how, they, how they got the Black Panthers. You know, they, they, they would come in and antagonize them. And when the Black Panthers thought they were defending themselves and they, when they shot it back at the cops, you know, they may have shot one time. And that and that gave them the authority to fucking shoot over 100 bullets through a house with women and children in it. Okay? Or they didn't have to shoot back just because they know you, had, you know you had guns in there. You know? It says, and this is why we got to trust in your whole body. You know, even if you got a gun without a gun. Trust in your how about you shot. Don't don't put your faith in these weapons, man. Okay, and really if you have a weapon, it's only gonna make you more of a target. If we come into a time where the Lord said the meek shall inherit the earth, you know, uh uh wait ye upon the Lord, you know, and he shall make a way for us to escape. If you go out there trying to be gun ho ramble, all you're doing is causing any more attention to yourself, man. If you go into to these gun good these gun stores and you buying all these guns and all this ammunition, all you doing is causing more attention to yourself. They're writing all that stuff down. Okay, 
we got to be wise scripture says be um harmless as dove and wise as serpents man the lord lord lord, lord, lord i can grab that too this is romans chapter 8 verse um verse 5 it says for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh so if you after the flesh you mind the things of the flesh man you got to have all these weapons you got to protect try to protect your flesh really you know if, hey if the lord got god that's you know ordained for you for, 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 for you to be killed and shot you know you can do about that bro okay it says and, and that's why people that's of the flesh they mind it that's why these certain of these camps you know they be out there with them guns because they, they they're minding the things of the flesh okay it says but they that are after the spirit are things of the spirit you see the things of the spirit and this is what, what we hone on you know being in the spirit man you know trusting in your whole body you shy it says for to be carnally minded carnally means worldly fleshly for to be carnally minded is death so when you're gonna go into them guns and go get guns and be carnally minded that's death bro that's death and, that, and, and, and that's definitely what it's gonna bring it says but to be spiritually minded is life and peace i had one individual from sakari the brother told me he was like oh yeah if you guys you know have more security you know you want to be you know certain things want to be going on you know because you had you know we got guys come on come on to our camp try to press us or whatever try you know try to be all you know he man macho but nobody ever laid fucking hands on us all right dude dude to come up and put put on the show for the camera but that's about it you know and we ain't never had to you know really 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 tussle with nobody man we ain't never had had had, had no jake get out of you know now you know we had some little nicholas one time but that but that that wasn't nothing you know but um you know as far as like having to like seriously defend ourselves that's never had, had happened because well hey, hey the lord scripture says with two or three are gathered in my name i am in the midst thereof man okay he says the angels and kept around those that fear him so if you truly believe that you don't really need a gun man and yahweh shot proved that when, 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 when he told peter lord, lord we're gonna grab that too it says for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So to be carnally minded, worldly, fleshly minded, you know, weapons and guns and, oh, you know, and, and, and that's your average nigga. You ask him what you going to oh, I got my Glock 30. Nah, nigga, what about the Lord? Okay, you going to need the Lord, man. All right. These things you put your trust in ain't gonna be able to save you in the times we coming into. All right, it's lucky. These things people put their trust into, they're not gonna be able to save them in the times we coming into, man. Okay, without your help, Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem and Kakwadash, you are through. It says, so then they that are of the flesh cannot please the Most High. So if you of the flesh, you can't please the Most High, man. Scripture says that um, without faith, it is impossible to please Him. So if you don't have faith, the Lord can deliver you. Hey, there's nothing you can do to certainly please you most high. You got camp, like I said, you got camps out there with guns. That's not the vibration the Lord told us, told, told, told us to, to, to uh, come in, man. Okay. It says, but ye are not of the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of the most high dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Hamashiach, he is none of his. You see? So if you have not the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, you are none of his. It says, and if Hamashiach be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. And that's why we know, you know, to hell with these bodies, bro. We about to get new bodies, bro. You know, a a what matters the most is our spirit being alive. It says, but if the spirit of him that raised up Yahweh Shai from the dead dwell in you, which you should believe that, what is death? The Lord can raise you from the dead. It says, He that raised up Yahweh Shah Hamashiach from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by this by his spirit that dwell in you. You see? Now that takes faith. That takes something that you gotta believe in. Okay. Let me read a little bit more of this. It says it's lucky. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. But if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. You see, if you live after the flesh, you gonna die, bro. But if you, if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live.
for as many as are led by the spirit of the most high are the sons of the most high now i'm not saying that you know having a gun a weapon is a sin okay um or you know it's evil but i'm telling you that you shouldn't trust in those weapons man okay you shouldn't put your full trust in those weapons like majority of jake do they get too proud and they say oh well, my, my gun gonna save me hey man don't don't be coming that spirit you know even the most mighty man to walk this earth which is king david never came in that spirit man you know it says matthew chapter 10 verse uh 16 it says behold i see you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves you know you never see a, a dove with an ak-47 wrapped around a damn neck man you know nah man it's not the spirit okay it's not the spirit it says behold look i send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves the whole point is to look defenseless you know because our true our true defense is from on high okay our real defense is from on high so you supposed to look defenseless jake doing their own thing and the same guy to my that we them niggas and shit man hey listen man they gonna show you some nigga shit all right they gonna show you what, what it means to be a nigga you know jake take pride in uh like i said nigga shit well, this man gonna show you what comes with nigga shit, man. On life Monday and Friday, 9 p.m. In, and they take all the 4473s. That's what it was, the 4473s. You know, and, and I'm talking about the whole the whole nigga shit, and you know, and the re, the, you know the reason why I bring it up because it's, it's some individuals that I I uh, know from Sakari, and those guys being that spirit of guns, this guy being the spirit of you know he 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 got a gun page, he more on fire, pulls on his gun page than on his truth page. Well, listen, man, they, they, they got all the records on that shit, man. You know? Verse 17, But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. You see? So so beware of be, beware of these men that you're going into these gun stores, you know, being friendly with. Because when the time comes, they're going to just give you over to the damn government anyways, man. It says, And you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. For a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Okay. So that's, that's the point on that. Um, let's go back to carnality. Okay. Carnal mind. Because that's what you see, see, see amongst our people. And when, what it does is, is it gets you destroyed. Okay. It'll get you destroyed, man. Okay. So lucky. It'll get you destroyed. That's what it leads to. Death and destruction. Okay. Being carnal. Being fleshly being worldly second corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh you see we don't war after the flesh we ain't trying to you know preserve our life scripture says he that seeks to save his life shall lose it so really we you know there, there, there's no saving our lives here man at the end of the day if we if it's the lord's will for us to be taken out of here we're gonna be taken out of here and if it's the lord's will for us not to be taken out of here then we're not gonna be taken out of here hence what you would you see in the matrix with neo you know, when the bullets were stopping in the midair, the Lord gonna do that for us, bro. I've had visions of people, you know, these troops shooting at me, and then the bullets stopping right before they hit me. You know, right before they were like an inch before they hit my body, they'll stop, you know, and and, and you know ricochet off and shatter from from from, from a particular like a force field. You know, which that's the Holy Spirit, that's the angels that's gonna protect the, uh, the men of the Lord, man. The angels are gonna protect the men of the Lord. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, worldly, fleshly of this world. Okay, that's not our weapons, bro. That, hey, that's Esau's blessing. That's not our blessing. But mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. Okay, mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds, man. You see, so you must have Yahweh Bashim Yashah on your side. Let me grab this. Going into King David. I'm going to close out. I made this too long. Psalms chapter 44 verse 4 For thou art my king O power command deliverances for Jacob They about to do gun grabs bro They about to come down here with great ref I just did a video about a fucking AI killer Machine okay AI killing machine a damn terminator They got some shit bro You you, you, you can empty the whole clip in that motherfucker Chest and the, and, the, and the whole damn room might be bulletproof Still chasing you down And tear off your head You know with, with his bare hands Not to mention the guns on it it says, through thee will we push down our enemies through thy name. 
when we tread them under that rise up against us through, so through the name of Yahweh Bashmiel. That's why it's important to know the names, man. Scripture says the name of Yahweh Bashmiel is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it are going to seek, are going to call, are going to use that name and be safe. You see, but the rest of you that's going to go, go to call upon Christ and Jesus and most are in Christ bless, and then pick up a damn AK-47 before you even get to shoot one bullet off. You're going to be, they, they're going to rid of you with bullets, man. They're going to drop a damn bomb on your house, you know, an airstrike, blow the whole block up, man. <laughs> you have no idea who you're dealing with. It says, through thee, we push down our enemies. Through thy name, will we tread them under that rise up against us. We're going to tread them under that rise up against us, man. It says, for I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. This is King David. But thou hast saved us from our enemies and has put them to shame that hated us. So, you see, I will not trust in my bow, but neither shall my sword save me. So, it ain't the weapon that's going to deliver you. She how about your shadow delivers you. Verse 8, it says, In the Most High we boast all the day long, and, and praise thy name forever. Salah. Yahweh, call halal. Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahushai, call halal. Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahushai, call halal. Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, man. That's what we boast in. Not no damn Smith and Western. Okay, let's go to what Yahushai said. Okay. Because, like I said, hey, like, like what he said, let's play it real quick. It's Tom Van Hoos. He is the owner of Highwood Creek Outfitters, the place that got raided. They go oh, in. You got, right now, you got a bunch of military presence all over the world. They tell my blackouts coming, so hey, prepare for some shit. Somebody go down, bro. Somebody go down, and you want to be on the right side of, 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 of you know, this this damn raft that's coming, man. You, know, you don't, you don't want to get caught, caught up in a fire. If you got a, a, a house fire... You'd rather be on the outside of the house than the inside of the house, man. All right, something's about to go down, and they got military troops, and they and they, you know, setting up blockades and you know tanks, getting the, you know, rolling out the tanks and whatnot. All right. So it says. Hold on. They don't take financial records. No, that's not what they go in and that they take it all. Instead, they go in, and they take. All the 4473s. Now, the 4473 forms are the forms in which everyone fills out when they purchase a firearm. Mm. It contains zero financial data on the but sheet. All your information. Okay, he says zero Many financial data. Many believe they're taking zero financial data, but I'm guarantee. I can bet you it, 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 it contains your 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 address, your email address, your damn your damn uh your phone number. Probably contains your um uh uh your ID number, you know, social security number. <laughs> this information to build a database on gun owners to be able to target all of them, and that is exactly what it seems like from here. Mm -hmm. And it just goes to show that if you're in this government's crosshairs. They can come in, put false accusations up, and do whatever just to kick in your door. Hey, and and, and, I, and I'm sure this database is all digital already. They already, you go in there, they probably you know have you write it on paper, or whatever. They go and they go and put it into to the computer. So it's probably already digital, but they got particular stores. It's probably still doing it manually, you know, just keeping the book records. And they say, hey, listen, we need this information. All right. It's probably probably the whole reason why they raided his uh, shop. But they really want because they, 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 this is coming to a crackdown they about to start you know like i said gun grabs they're gonna start act, they're gonna start acting out man and they want you to, to jump stupid so they can mow your ass down all right which was these 4473s which is everyone's information out there everyone that bought a gun that's mm. what they want so they can build that database to target you right 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 it ain't rocket science they got everybody information to build to build a database so they could target you man and you don't gave them that database okay because you because you thought you can trust in, the, in these weapons okay matthew chapter 26 verse 41 watch and pray that you enter not into temptation the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak you see so you got to watch and pray man watch for the prophecies pray to you how about you shy that you enter not temptation you know you get you you don't fall off that you don't be, be, be destroyed that you don't you know end up, end up taking that karagma when it come out it says the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. 
You know, it'd be sometimes, you know, like, like earlier, me and the brother supposed to go do a video, and I end up falling asleep, bro. You know, this flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. You know, so we got to be on be 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 on our scrolls. So I, yeah, I had to, you know, I figured I'd you know I I I'll, I'll, I'll put a few more in real quick. This is Matthew chapter 26, verse 52. It says, Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. You see? So the modern day sword is a gun. So all you all you that went and took up that damn gun, you're gonna perish with them guns. You know? They they they, they know you got, you know, twelve guns in your house. So so, so how you think they're coming? Then they're gonna come. But, you know, it's it said it said heavenly armed, man. Heavenly armed ATF and IRS. They came prepared for a battle. If you want you if you want to do something, let's do something. And they probably you know wanted that more than anything, you know. So if you got a gun, they come in you know stacked and racked. It says for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. And that go what's where you get that old you know um you know thing. Uh, uh, live by the gun, die by the gun, man. Okay. This is when they came to get Yahweh Shai. So they're so they gonna come, come to get us too, brothers. And if they do come to get us, you gotta remember. Uh, well, let me go up. Let me read free, read all the way up. Cause if they do come to get us, you gotta remember, you know, to stay in the spirit, bro. You know, the Lord says, says, says set up a, a um a way for us. You know, He set an example for us, and we gotta follow that. Okay, that's why. It's really not convenient for you to be going the gun route anyways. You in the land of captivity, nigga. Okay, what you doing with, with a damn gun? You think that's going to save you? You got Jake that be going to get guns and they had to pick the papers for and everything. And the police to shoot him down. You know, and then still get off. I feel threatened. You know? So that's not our blessing. Our blessing is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Matthew chapter 26, verse 50. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on Yahweh Shai and took him. So... This was after Judas Iscariot betrayed the Lord, and they came and, and uh, you know, arrested him, you know, laid hands on him. It says, and behold, one of them, which were with you, Shai, which was, which was Peter, stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. So Peter pretty much took, you know, he's, oh, shit, they, they, they're trying to get the Lord. Oh, no. Nah. And he and, and, and Peter was 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 was, was a second in command, the head of the church. So he thought he was doing, doing the right thing. And he smote off one 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 of the one of the the, the, uh, the dude's ear, you know. And then we read re read into a, a, a deep deeper into the account that Yahweh Shai picked up the man's ear and put it back on his head, you know, and, and pretty much healed him. And this is what, what what he said to Peter. He says, Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Okay, so if you if you pick up that damn gun. You think you're gonna, you know, and show you in the movies. Motherfucker pick up a gun and they get shot before they even get, get, get a shot off. But they, you know, they may get shot. So look, look at the movie, um, Set It Off with Queen Latifah. You know, you, you come in that spirit, you, you, you know, you, you, know, you riding on the street smoking your last stogie. You're gonna get out and empty the clip and they're gonna, you know, you already know. It's, hey, you're gonna crash out, bro. It's a suicide. <laughs> it's a suicide mission, man. You're gonna crash out. That's why this, the Lord says, um, uh, you know, wait ye upon the Lord. Um, uh, what's another? I just had him tip. I just had him tip my tongue. Uh, 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 Lord, gonna come back to me. But yeah, you're gonna crash out, bro. It's a suicide mission, man. You know, it's a suicide mission. You know, and, that, and that, that's what happens. It says, verse 53. Think is thou that I cannot now. Pray. He didn't say shoot. He said pray. He didn't say, you know, tuck and roll and, you know, let three off. He said pray to my father and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. No, he said slide across the hood of the car and empty the clip out. What the hell? You niggas watching too much, too much, too much, too much bad boys, man. Okay? We ain't the bad boys. Okay? We need y'all by me. Oh, shot. That's our savior. That's our deliverer. It says, thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels. The Lord can have, oh, can open the heavens up and have the angels come down and deliver you, man. But do you believe in that? You see? Do you believe? Alright, so that means I'm going to say Shalom. Quim and Shirala, a Bible bar. Praise the Lord, be edified. So hopefully that. Shalom.